Let's try the Columbus office. Hello, um, can I call, talk to this office about making, um, I need, my account needs severe cleanup, um, I, my name is Rashard Kelly, and I am coming out of the Atlanta office, but nobody is picking up the phone over there. Okay. Um, Kelly. Yes. One second, I'm going to have to. Have you talked to Mr. Billy? Do you need to find Mr. Kelly, I'm going to have you speak with um, Quintus is his name. What's You'll his name? You, okay? What's his name? His name is Quintus. Okay. Mr. Billy. Quintus? Oh, one second. Okay, thank you. Hello? Hi, how are you? I'm doing well. How about yourself? I um, could be better. My wife was recently murdered, and um, I've been trying to get my um, account together with um, Michael out of the Tucker office for a while now, and um, we just got a lot of, um, there's a lot of confusion. Um, he hadn't sent my checks in a very long time. He said they came back, and we went back and forth, back and forth. Long story short, he gave me some of my money and uh, one of my stimulus payments, but I'm missing a whole lot of money, and it's like I got a lot of business I need to handle. I got five years worth of back taxes I got to handle. I got to take care of um, a lot hold of... On, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me, let me, let me let you know as a payee what I was responsibility is. Um, I'm looking in the system as I speak, and I saw that Michael uh, gave you a check for on the 19th. Michael gave you a check for seventeen hundred dollars, a thousand dollars, and four hundred and fifty dollars. That Michael did not get that approved, and that should not have been sent out because Social Security is going to reprimand people's choice for the amount of money that we sent to you at one time. <laughs> so Social Security has, doesn't agree with that line of thinking. Um, yeah, that, that has, hold on, let me explain it okay. to you so that way I, I want you to understand from a business perspective and from an organization perspective, perspective we cannot write out that amount of money to uh, to individuals who are who we're serving payee for because it'll count against us. So Michael has been recommended for that um, for that because that should have not gone out that much. And the reason why because um, Social Security look at it as if if, if we're being paid to manage the fund and you just giving somebody so like he gave you almost three thousand dollars you're not managing you're just giving it out now a lot of the clients come with a lot of excuses as to why they need the money however we have to make sure we're managing the money properly because soon as soon as they see this right here i already know as soon as they come in and do an audit and they see that right there, that that right there is going to be a red flag on people's shorts. Let me have, so, let me help you understand, yeah. let me help you understand something, Quentin. I was approved 
um, back in the summertime, I got one, no, I got okay. two checks. I had to spend from August, excuse me, from July to I got that, that $3,000 um, bonus begging for money, okay? Um, I have lived on the streets. I am a former NASA engineer. I got framed for schizophrenia. I have PTSD. I need okay. to make let, let me let me clear this up with you. I have to make this trip to California so I can clear my name so I can be my own payee because my daughter is in foster care after um some very corrupt family members set me up and my daughter has not seen me in nearly a year. Like this I shouldn't even have a payee service. Basically what happened was the first time I got framed to go to the mental hospital, I applied for social security and got approved. And the thing is this, I have a valid PTSD, um, um, what's it called, um, diagnosis, but I have to go and get that from California because nobody in Georgia is going to give that to me because they do not understand post-traumatic stress disorder, and it's fucking up my life, man. I need to see my daughter. I am not on drugs. I am not an alcoholic. I have... The only reason I chose People's Choice was because the Social Security Service recommended it to me. Now, in the $450 check that Michael gave me, he told me that that was three checks backed up. That was three checks he didn't send. Now, let me help you understand something. This is from the perspective of a former NASA engineer, level five systems engineer. I worked on spaceships by proxy. I am not a dumb man. I know what I'm talking about. I, the last, let, let me just, let me clear something up about the amount of money that I'm getting. This is what I'm saying. It's like, you have a lot of people that you're dealing with that are mental patients, a lot of old people, but I, I need specifics. I need an account printout, but let me help you understand something. My neighbor, Yusuf Stanley, gets about four times or five times the amount I get. He gets about $1,200 every two weeks. I get about 500. That's not normal for a $100,000 a year employee. It's just not normal. I should not be struggling like this. And I was approved for SSI and SSD. I don't know where the SSD is. So I'm trying to track everything down and I'm trying to see how you guys can help me. And I need to get to California. I need to go to the doctor so I can get my um, my mental health cleared so I can see my daughter. My daughter, Coral Iris Kelly, it's a big story on the internet. Her mother, Erica Renee Kelly, was kidnapped and sold into prostitution by a man named Matt Field, a graffiti artist that writes letters who works for MTV Networks. It's a big story. I know it's at least passed across your, across your page. She was recently murdered. I'm trying to clean the shit up so I can get my daughter back and comfort my daughter over her lost mother. How can you help me do that? Let's, let's stick to what you can do because as soon as possible, I need to get all of my money away from you guys because it has not been a clean ride. I was deemed mentally incompetent because I was framed for schizophrenia. That's why I was given a payee. I was framed for schizophrenia.
to, to, to manage and give your funds out in the proper manner that Social Security requires us to do. Okay, what okay. what can we now, what can we do today to fine. aid me? What can we do today to aid me in getting to California so I could clear my name? My daughter's next court date is February twenty second. I have an immense amount of stress on me dealing with the murder of her mother, and the fact that her mother's I'm murderer is still you. out on the street. What can I do to get some money you today? Receive, you receive like you know, dude, you receive a lot of money on the nineteenth. Okay, now think. You not to have your ticket already ready to go to California. That L let's understand that's something. I haven't gotten any money since J July. So just because you gave me money and I haven't gotten any money since July, if you if you were waiting on a check. Yeah, but if you had to go to California, if you had to go to California that bad, here's what I'm saying. This is a new I'm development. Not, it's a new development. I'm not, I'm not, yeah. I had other bills to take to. care of. I'm five years behind on my taxes. I'm doing a lot of work. Yeah, I just want you to understand that, you know, um, the amount of money you had on the 19th, and here it is just the second, if you had to go to California, then ticket, round trip, airplane ticket or bus ticket or whatever the case may be should have already been purchased on top of you finding a place to stay i mean all you had enough money to find you a place to stay get you a round trip bus ticket to or, uh, Quentin, or Quentin, 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 you're not understanding the fact that you guys didn't send me any money since july therefore three thousand yeah, dollars is three I did, this is a new development. This is a new development, my uh, Quentin. Quentin, this is a new. My brother has set me up in a house. I have, I have a place to stay. So the thing is this, Michael, let me help you understand. Note, I said, I have been, I am a normal person. I have just not gotten any money from you guys. You guys have not done your job since July. That's a long ass time. That's a long ass time. So I had things I needed to catch up on. This is a new development, the murder of Erica Renee Kelly, my wife of a previous marriage. This is a new development. Again, this is not Michael like, been, just because Michael. Michael has been dealt with because of the fact that you didn't get no money for that long, right? And so my question to him was, why, what, what, what is it? Why did this guy did not get any money for this amount of time? You know what I mean? You know, we cannot drop the ball on something like that. You know what I mean? So I'm, I'm, I agree totally with you. I'm in agreement with you. I understand exactly what you're saying, but I'm not going to put this company in, um, in a situation that's going to bring uh, any more, you know, how can we resolve this? How how let's 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 how can let's you you talking about what you can't do? I want to know. Let me to, let me ask you something. Michael also said he was ordering me a debit card. I need to get a, a report of how much money you have the debit card with you. Okay, are you in Atlanta or are you in Columbus? I'm in Atlanta. Okay, when can I get my debit card?
but I've been trying to figure out if we got a card for you, why I can't find find it in the True Link system? And so uh, I have the card right here. However, I have no way of trying to put money on the card because it's, it's, it's not pulling up in, in the system so that I can do that. Okay, how... I'm going through... I'm going through the whole system just to make sure that your name was spelled correctly. And if it wasn't, and I find it, I can still put money on the card, even if the, you know, the name may have been misspelled. But I have to go through everything to do that. Okay, um, do you have a do you have an ETA on that? Pick up the card. Do you have an ETA on that? Do you know when that will be complete? Okay, well, what so we I have to go through one of them to make sure <laughs> that I'm not missing it. Okay. So I've been doing that all morning. Well, let's let's get some let's get some action items right now. Let's get some action items. When I this is um, I'm passing a message for my wife star too. When we send a email to the group People's Choice. Social Security, payee service, whatever that um, email address is, the Yahoo mail account. Do you see those messages as well? No, sir. I don't see those messages. Okay. I'm the owner, so someone else to see that. However, you should have, um, you should have Michael's. If Michael is your account manager, then you should have Michael's email address. I do have Michael's email address. Is Michael still employed with you? Yes, sir. Okay. So, I want to get some action items. I am going to send an email and I want a response with action items of how we're going to fix this and I also want my report, my social security, my whole account emailed to me. I want to know what's going on. How much money is okay, there? Okay, now we don't need we don't email statement, you know, that's, we don't, we don't email statement. Can I pick the statement up? I can mail you a statement. I can mail you a statement. Can I pick the statement up I mean, in the morning? No, sir, you can't pick the statement up. Why is that? Because, due, because of COVID protocol, you can't pick it up. I think, if I'm not mistaken, I think Michael uh, had you to come and pick on the 19th to do that. And um, we've, had, we've had three employees, man, to get COVID. I'm not putting nobody else in harm's way. We, we, nobody else is coming up here to pick up a check, to pick up any item. You know, we would have to mail those items to you guys. Most people are getting COVID because they're wearing masks, they're not breathing. The lack of oxygen reduces the function of your immune system. It's the common cold. It's SARS. Mr. Kelly, Mr. Kelly, Mr. Kelly, I'm, I'm not... I don't have COVID. Of COVID. I'm just saying to you that because of that, we've made a decision as a company to not do that. Okay. You know, and so... Uh, that's where we are with that. However, I am willing to uh, meet you halfway with that. If if we purchase a PO box, can we count on you to send us a statement and send us begin sending us regular disbursements? Can we count on that if we get a P.O. box? Because Michael says something's wrong with the address. I'm not finding anything wrong with the address. He said three checks to return. And my constant fluctuations and, and what what accuracy is. And I just don't know. I just don't know. But we need some help. We're trying to get out of a hole. I want to see my daughter. I need money to clean up my reputation. And don't assume just because Michael gave me $3,000 that I wasted the money. Please do not. Please 
do not berate me in that way. Once again, I am a former engineer. I am a highly accomplished man. And I would still be an engineer if I was not fighting for the freedom of my wife, Erica, who was sold and murdered in prostitution. And my daughter, Coral, has, who has not seen her father in a year, who's being held by a woman named Danielle Mashanga, who used to be a stripper, who's accusing me of sexual misconduct. I need a fucking lawyer. So it's like there's serious ass problems going on with serious real world consequences. And I need help. So I need to get, we need to get this shit bulleted out so we can both have a clear understanding of what's going on. I'm not trying to bully y'all. I'm not trying to rob y'all or nothing like that. We just need some clear standards and nothing's been clear since I started working with y'all. We just need to clean the shit up. How can we go about cleaning this shit up? Let's clean it up in email and get some hot, solid agreements because things that are said in voice conversations can't be held because this person forgets that person forgets. So can we get an email thread started where we can start holding people to some responsibilities and understanding what's owed to this family and what people's choice of financial responsibility is towards us? Okay, yes, um, I'm sure that Mr. Billings will be able to do that. Um, he, um, I'm sure he'd be willing to work with you on that, Mr. Kelly. Okay. So, um, yeah, so one second for me. I'm going to take down, you know, make sure we have all of your information correct. And you can give me your email address and make sure he has it. Hold one second for me. Okay. These people lie so much. It's like, Lord, help me. Um, we gonna make it. We gonna make it. We gonna make it. frustrating thing about coronavirus covid is like there's just so many people making excuses not to do work like um plan spontaneity the i was on the train the other day and i read the sign um from marta we are together and staying apart like there was this phrase in 1984 called newspeak where you have a political party that pushes an idea that, like, the whole idea contradicts itself. Like, we stay together, excuse me, we stay apart to stay together. Like, um, just pay attention to this shit. Let's keep recording. have an address according to michael the checks are being returned i have gotten other items at this address if i invest in a p.o box can i count on you to send to communicate with me through the p.o box because that's going to be an 84 dollar investment yeah you get a p.o box sure sure but see the, i think we got 4855 parkway yes have you received Alpharetta. checks returned from that address 4855 winwood parkway in alpharetta I'm if not you homeless. Don't, 
um, make clear that checks will be coming for you. A lot of times, the, the, the organizations that allow mail to come in, they, they don't do money or checks or anything like that. So you might want to ask them up front, hey, will my mail come here? Uh, will you guys allow, you know, checks and things like that for my payee to come here? If so, it's going to be from people's choice. If you don't let them know that, they will return the check. Well, let me communicate again with the post office to be clear of what's going on. Because um, it was fishy for Michael to say, okay, here's three back checks and it's $450. Once again, the last year I worked, I worked half a year. I made about 40 grand. Um, the year before that, I made about 88 grand. And for the, from the Social Security disbursement calculator on the internet, it's like I'm so far under what I'm supposed to be getting. It's like all these things need to be accounted for. Yeah. Okay. So, um, you know what I'll do? I'll have. I'm a, and, and right now, the money that Michael is giving you is the money that you just had saved in your account. Okay. Can you, you know, give me a uh, quick account balance? Like, what do I have in my account balance right now? Yeah, I give you an account balance. Your account balance is three thousand eight hundred and twenty-seven dollars and fifty cents. Did you guys pay hospital bills? Because the thing is. We need to discuss that too because I. Well, you had, if you have hospital bills and we don't, and you haven't given them to us, then no, we wouldn't pay any bills if you haven't given them to us. Okay, something's wrong with the whole amount of money that we're seeing here. Period. So, um, let's do this. I will be in touch and maybe. Um, a day or two, a few days to, to get some more clarity. And um, I'll send out that bulleted list so we can start getting some action items and figure out what's going on because I am doing my best to get everything lined up. I was promised that I was receive checks for um, twice a month. It didn't happen. And now you're saying I haven't gotten a check since December. So I'll do my own legwork with Social Security. You do your due diligence to make sure we both speak in the same language so we can clean this up. I'll call Social Security myself. Okay, please do. To see what's going on with your check. You know, one thing that I'm saying that I believe, however... That shouldn't stop it because if they give you a back pay of this amount of money, they give you up to a year to um to spend that money down. And so um you you good on that. So I don't know, did, did you change the pay or did you call them to tell them to stop the check or anything? No, the only thing that happened I out, let me let me tell you what happened, happened with Angela out of out of your office. Um, and it's misleading how you got Columbus on the website. It's, it's, it's misleading. Like, clean that up because it's misleading. Um, Angela, I was begging for food. I was, I was really down and out. And Angela, and I, I yeah, said, you are evil that. for cutting yeah. off my food supply. Like, please help me. Like, I'm being victimized by multiple people around me. And if I had just a little bit of money, I could be out of this trouble. And I said, you're evil. I told her that to her face. And I called her a bitch because she was being cruel to me when I told her what was going on and that I needed her. To, she said, oh, I'm not changing your address again. I'm not changing your address. I was running for my life. White supremacists, the whole story is documented on Instagram, were chasing me, threatening to shoot me on sight because another late wife, Muna Ahmed Kelly, who got poisoned by Matt Field, this guy's been stalking my family for 10 years. He likes to sell Ethiopian women. Um, we finally, me and Sartu finally got to like, figured out the whole case my current wife that's living and breathing um i'm like miss angela this man is trying to kill me like so i'm running i'm bouncing from place to place and then my family is former jehovah's witnesses they will not have anything to do with me my biological family and she did i said you're evil you're evil bitch she said oh, okay i'm sending your money back to social security that's what she said i'm running for my life 
that I'm running for my life. I'm finally at a place where I'm going to settle. Well, I would do the same thing. You know what I mean? So, um, you know, I'm going to do the same thing. You know, I have to understand. We, we work with, you said yourself that you've been framed with schizophrenia. So when you call in here like that, and those are the clients that we deal with, then of course, we're going to be cautious and a red flag is going to come up on our end because these are the clients we deal with. I mean, cautious is one thing, but this story done been in Essence Magazine. It done been on the 6 o'clock news. This is not no basic no, 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 I'm, shit. I'm saying, I'm, I'm, talk, I'm coming from the aspect of the clients that we work with. So if you say you're not schizophrenic, but at the same time, on your, on your file it's saying it is. So when Angela deal with you and Angela see that you are calling her out of her name, calling her evil, and calling her things like that, then of course a person would take offense to that, right? Is so it, she can only do what I, the owner, tell her to do. Okay. And she cannot do or go above what the process of this organization allows her to do. That goes for Angela, that goes for Michael, that goes for Gloria, that goes for Keisha, that goes for everybody who works in this office. You can't do what you want to do. You have to go by the rules and regulations that is set for you to do. So sometimes clients call in here asking the account manager to do things that they aren't supposed to do. Case in point, you getting the amount of money you got, and now he's, now he's at home because of that. He's coming back, but at the same time, you know, he was reprimanded for that. So he was so reprimanded for paying for paying me back money. The pressure you is to give you that kind of money, and we don't do that. You send me your action items, and I'll take a look at them, and I'll see exactly. Send them to Michael. Send them to Michael's email address, and I'll have the person who's working. Um, who's working Michael's case to look at that and present them to me and we'll move forward. I'll take a look at it. I'll see what's going on. But if anything in there is is causing uh, this company uh, to be jeopardized in any way, I'm going I'm to reach out to you and let you know what we can do and what we can't. Okay, well, let's just keep the goal at this. Okay. You have someone who is a valid recipient of Social Security. Let's get the payments regular. You know, now and if you want to, you can go and get the price of how much it's going to cost for you to get from Atlanta to, um, to um, California. I don't know how you're going to get there. How are you going to get from Atlanta to California? Airplane. Okay. You need to find out how much the ticket costs. Right now, usually big ticket items like that, people's choice would pay for the plane ticket, and then you reimburse people's choice so that there won't be no discrepancy in us giving you money, which you say you're gonna do something and then you don't do it. Okay, right? so well, what uh, we do, we will, we, you call us, let us know what that is, we would purchase the ticket for you, and then. You will reimburse us for that ticket. Then we will get that. Then all you will have to do is to um, go to the airport, show your ID, and fly wherever it is you want to go. Okay. And we'll and we'll get you some spending money. You know what I mean? We'll, we'll put some we'll put some money on your car. By then we should have your car worked out. To where we can put money in your car and you wouldn't have to worry about that. Okay, that's progress. I will talk you to know, you so. later on tonight. Okay. Um, and channeling, and I will make sure you have an email, and we can um, okay, get some conclusion um as far as the direction forward. Because yeah, I, I can I, get the I, no I can get the. I can I can get the flight to you tomorrow morning. 
And um, I want to be able to be confident that when it's time for me to come back, I can say, hey, here's I, I, it's time for my flight back or my bus ticket back, whatever. Yeah, we can do a round trip ticket. Just see how much a round trip ticket is going to cost. Or if you just want to stay up there for a while, understand you can't stay in California over a month or you're going to mess up your social security. I'm not planning on staying that long. I just have to go and take care of some business. But I wanted to go on the airplane and come back on the bus so I can relax, so I can see some scenery. I want, just want. I need to clear my mind. My wife was murdered. I have not seen my child since May 15th. So, you know, it's it's like you know, I I have a particular way. I'm I'm soothing myself as well. There is some self medicating in there too, as far as I want to ride the bus. So. Now that I have that, um, we, how I'd like to leave as soon as possible. How soon can we have that that setup going where you said you could give us some spending money so that we could go to California? How soon can we have that set up? Because my daughter's so court we, date. I, first of all, we need to find out how much. The, we need to find out what you're gonna do. Are you are you gonna stay? I have a friend to stay with, so a hotel won't be an issue. I have a friend to stay with, so a hotel won't be an issue, but um, spending money and transit money, that is that is the main thing. City bus money, shit like that. Yeah. And um, when we do that, Food and we'll medicine. Now, one of the things I want you to know is when you're speaking to me, I would prefer that you not use profanity, right? We're talking business here. I want to make sure if I keep it professional with you, you keep it professional with me. So, I can um, work with you on that. After after what I've been through with the, your other employees, the things slip out. It's just emotion, but I will be I will be cautious yeah, with yeah, how I, I proceed to speak. Yeah, I understand. I get it. I totally understand. So, give me that information in the morning. I'm gonna work on that card today and see if what's going on. I'm gonna have to call them because I can't see anything. I'm gonna have to call them and say, hey, you know, you guys sent up the card, but I don't I don't see his name in the system to where we could add money to the card. So hopefully they will get that worked out today. Um so when you send your your, your um email tomorrow, I should be able to respond to you and let you know that the card is corrected or they still working on it. All right. Well, thank you very much All for right. now, and um, you have a very good day, yeah. and I will be in contact with you. Yeah, same to you. All right, goodbye. Okay, then. Take care, Mr. Kelly. You do the same, Quentin.